Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Leo, this is for your new love or future love. Someone coming towards you. What I'm sensing here is that this is either a reconciliation between someone that you already have family with or it could be someone who comes along with this ready-made kind of family unit attached to them. I do get very strong earth energy around this person, so they could be Virgo, or they may have a strong earth influence in their chart. Leo, I'm getting an essence around you of conflict or potential conflict with this person. There is an energy of practicality around them. And Leo, for you, that doesn't mix so well. It's not that you're not practical, you are. It's just that you also like to have a bit of excitement, a bit of more fiery kind of energy. And this feels very earthbound to me. This feels not exactly, I don't feel any passion here. The only passion I feel is conflict, yeah, battles that kind of thing but this person is very much focused on family happy families uh, family and friends keeping the status quo keeping or maintaining things in a in a very uh, organized way i get it, uh, this person is very organized so we'll see what happens here but at the bottom of the deck for you i've got the ten of wands so it feels heavy this energy around this reading feels heavy for you now, I want to do a couple more shuffles for Leo. Yeah, it, it feels it feels like uh, something that there's a, it comes with a lot of responsibility, Leo. Whether this is someone that you you already have had experience with, or whether this is someone new that comes in already having children. So let's see, Leo, the energy around this new love for you. I'm going to lay out all the cards firstly. Okay, we've got the King of Swords in reverse as uh, the energy around them. The focus, the Seven of Swords in reverse. What's hidden here, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. The energies between the two of you, we have the Three of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, the strengths between you. We do have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The weakness is the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Mm, okay, let's take a look and see what will categorize or what will be the nature of this relationship. King of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And the potential outcome here is the Six of Wands in reverse. You're not great, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, Leo, let's take a look at this. So this is the this is the X. What I'm sensing around this is that their focus their focus is is mainly on keeping something. I get this is this is something I do feel a very strong energy here of reconciliation. I do feel that around this reading but what categorizes it is uh, is worrying because I do feel this detachment I get a very strong detachment around this and Leo I, I get a very very much an energy from you of, of not really trying or not wanting this yeah, this person is, is a single person, I feel, but they have children, Leo, and you're not certain about this. Actually, I, I think that you're not letting on to this person, but I think deep down, this is not something that you'll be wanting. It's not that you don't want children or that you don't like children. It, it's just that this situation doesn't feel right to you. It doesn't feel like you're being true to yourself and true to your own needs leo i think that for you you're you may be older you may have already had a family of your own 
And so you're not really looking to take on responsibility around anyone else's uh, children. That, that's what I'm picking up here, uh, Leo. Whether you're male or female, it makes no difference. You know, the focus for this person, we've, we've got a lot of swords energy that I'm feeling around them. And it's very much a feeling around this person of wanting to be seen in a certain way. I'm getting very, very much this person is somewhat of a, uh, not really controlling, but they appear to be someone who's very forthright. They are not afraid to say what they need to say. And it can come across in a very, it's a, in a very unemotional way. That's what I'm sensing. It even can be a little bit hurtful, especially if this person doesn't get their way. So I do think this is someone who is around you at the moment but I actually feel, Leo, you have other options. This person may be even aware of that. And that could be part of the reason why I'm picking up this conflict here. There seems to be something around this of this person being unhappy with the, with the state of the relationship. So this is something that's going to come into you here, Leo. I don't feel it's an ex. I feel it's someone that already has children you're going to have other options around you. This is going to be one of the options. But this is this person's going to be quite forceful with their own needs. Now, I do get one thing that I see here around this person is that they're very, very diligent. They're very hardworking. Uh, they're very practical. And... They also seem to, to have a, a decent job. I, I get that they're, they're working hard at their job. They're trying to build their wealth. But to you, it seems like that's all that this is. It, it's, I feel that this person is attractive. They may have a, a nice place to live. Very good surroundings that they've worked hard for. But they do have children and they're very focused on building a foundation of wealth and maintaining that, keeping that there. Yeah, now the thing that I'm getting around them is that they're not telling you the whole truth either. So there's something that they're withholding from you. And I'll have to see what I, what I feel like that is. But I get that the communication between the two of you has gotten a little bit too much on the, the practical side of things. I'm not seeing any passion here. I'm not seeing any love. All I feel around this is talk about money, talk about children, and talk about uh, uh, work. So this could be someone that you've met while you've been working or maybe even from your workplace, but it seems like it's very practical. I think you'd be well off with this person. I think that uh, the money would be okay. But the reality is you're thinking of this and you're thinking, well, you know, this person already has children. They don't seem to be very passionate. And I think that's what you're looking for, Leo. Uh, you want the passion, you want the, the love, you, you want the, uh, the more of the, the caring kind of relationship. Uh, this doesn't feel like you. And I think that's what's bringing up the conflict here within yourself. I don't see this working out. We've got the Six of Wands in reverse as the outcome card here. So it tells me that this is someone around you who I feel is very much set on you. It's kind of like they see you as a, a prize or something that is going to 
going to help them with their with their burdens, with their responsibilities. But I feel for you, you need more than that. I think that you're actually not, you're not looking for practicality and you're not looking for responsibility at this stage of your life. You're looking for fun, for passion, for uh, travel, for, uh, for something new and fresh. This feels stale. The energy around this reading feels very stale to me. And I don't feel that, uh, I don't feel that you're going to be giving towards this person, especially when it comes to your emotions, because you don't feel you don't feel like there's a, a very deep connection here. It feels superficial, and it feels burdensome, a heavy weight around this. Now, I do see I do see an energy around you here of letting this person know eventually that this is not going to happen i think that for you it's it's important not to lead this person astray or lead them down a path here of thinking that this is going to work if you know deep down it's not going to work as i said i think you find this person attractive they're they're around you possibly in the workplace they're, they're doing quite well but in the end it's not really something that you see going anywhere and it could be one of those situations where you get involved rather quickly maybe after a few drinks uh, yeah it, it feels it feels like that it, it feels like you meet up with this person leo uh, you go out for a few drinks maybe as part of a a social group here you end up I think you might end up uh, sleeping with this person or, or something like that. But after the event, I, I see regrets. I do. I feel that this is a very regretful. And, and I think that you, you, at the end of the day, you look at this and you think, you know what, that was a mistake. So, um, yeah, this, this feels like that to me. It, it feels like... Uh, uh, this person, you may have given them some hope here, perhaps, that this was going to work out. But I don't think it's going to be too long before you pull the plug on this one, Leo. But let, let's see where this goes in the extended. Of course, things can change with that, as you know. So uh, what I'll be doing in the extended reading is I'll be going much more in depth, pulling out some clarifiers here and looking at some further oracles but before i go uh, please do press that like button if you're enjoying these readings uh, share me on your social media and uh, please subscribe if you're a newcomer i'd love to have you but leo before we go to the extended here i want to pull out one more card from the akashic tarot and the message here about uh, what will what's the nature of this relationship between this person and leo what's the nature of this relationship okay we've got views of the ego okay i'm going to take that one okay with this one it's very uh, four of cups energy that i'm picking up around that it's the four of roses which is it is the the suit of love in this particular deck so with this one leo you'll see that these uh three people here stand together before this full-length mirror and the man in the center gazes keenly at himself and it seems his reflection is looking back with a superior air his is the sole reflection to be seen in the mirror so this card shows that there could be um, whether in love friendship family or business relationship someone who lets the ego get a little bit out of control here could be you leo you know there's an energy here of uh, perhaps trying to uh, to make you feel good or trying or this this is some kind of ego boost because i do think this person's very attractive but the thing that i'm getting around this is that that's all that this is yeah a very much an energy here of looking in the taking a good long look in the mirror and and seeing exactly what this is all about I, I feel it's something to do with the ego but in the end i don't feel that there's any emotional connection with this person leo 
So we'll see where this goes. I think it's it's some kind of uh, energy here of meeting up with this person and uh, kind of falling into bed with them. But after the event, it seems uh, it seems like there's there's a need here for well for perhaps some uh, some apologies some forgiveness but we'll see where this goes in the extended again uh, please do join me if this is resonating uh, the link is below in the descriptions box it'll be about another 25 minute reading if you prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com don't forget to like share and subscribe and press that notification bell as well wishing you the best with this leo i'll see you in part two or i will speak to you again very soon bye for now